that during a hailstorm, hailstorms with an average mass of 2 grams and a speed of 15 meters per second strike a window at 45 degree angle. The area of the window is 0 0.5 meters. The hailstones hit it at a rate of 30 of them per second. Uh, what average pressure do they exert on the window? Okay, so uh, let's assume that the collision with the window is elastic. Uh, so uh, the question says if this is, let's take a side view of the window. Uh, if this is the window, uh, they hit at 45 degree angle. So this angle here, so let's say that this is F and this angle here is 45 degrees. And uh, uh, I'm interested in the pressure, so I'm really looking for the horizontal component of the force. So I'm interested in this guy here that it exerts on the on the window. And uh, you know, if this is 45, this would also be 45, right? Uh, so because this is 90, so this force would be. Uh, and by the way, we're discussing average force here. So the component of the force I'm interested in is uh, F uh, cosine 45 or sine 45, either way. Okay, and this is the X uh, component of the force, right? So that's what I mean. Okay, now we know that a, a Newton's second law uh, if uh, could be interpreted as the uh, sum of forces uh, is equal to the change in momentum, right? The change in momentum. Now, um, if if I'm talking about the x direction, then I could just call these x, and if I'm talking about the average, these here would be averages. And so uh, the only component in the x is f cosine 45 degrees and this has to equal to the mass times the change in speed this is uh, p is just change in v vx change in vx so this would be uh, v 2x minus v 1x but if this collision is uh, elastic uh, then uh, those two velocities would be the same and uh, the change in Vx would be V uh, of course it's it's going at 45 degree angle because that's the angle it hits the window with so I need to pick up the cosine component of the velocity right so this would be uh, V cosine 45 minus minus v because it's going to bounce back with the same velocity v cosine vx cosine 45 so this would be 2 v well v vx is v cosine 45 so let me remove the uh, let me remove the uh, x here so this would be 2 v cosine 45 Okay, so plug this there. So I would get my F average. Or let me just use bar. So my F average would be M times uh, uh, 2V cosine 45. And where am I going with this? Well, I could relate pressure with force because I know that uh, the average pressure is equal to the average force divided by the area and uh, so then I would get P is equal to uh, uh, 2m uh, V cosine 45 Uh, divided by uh, the area right and uh, now uh, one last thing to note here uh, that I have uh, this is the mass of one of them but I, I do have 30 of them striking 30 of them striking per second so technically uh, I would have to uh, multiply the right hand side of this equation uh, by 30 
per second so this side of this equation has to pick up a 30 here to account because it's not just one molecule I, everything I've done be, was for just one molecule hitting the window uh, or one drop one hailstone for 30 of them I just have to multiply that by 30 and so uh, now plugging the numbers in we have uh, 2 times 2 times 10 to the minus 3 to change it to kilograms times the speed which is 15 meters per second uh, cosine 45 is just root 2 over 2 uh, divided by the area which was what 0 0.5 uh, meter square and this whole thing is multiplied by 30 uh, and so uh, wait, what was the speed? Yeah, okay. Sure. So now if I plug all this stuff on the calculator, I would get the average pressure to be 2.55 newtons per meter square okay it asks to compare that to atmospheric pressure and uh, we know that atmospheric pressure is 1 atm uh, I could change that to Newton per meter square uh, I know that uh, each 1 atm is uh, 1.01 times 10 to the 5 Pascals which is Newton per meter square so uh, so this is the same as 1.01 times 10 to the 5 Newton per meter square and if I'm trying to compare the percentage I could just divide them um, and if I do that I get a P ATM over P uh, notice how much larger the atmospheric pressure will be than the pressure of the hailstone 30 of them uh, 2.55 uh, if I divide that I get uh, 4.12 times 10 to the 4 S so that's almost uh, 40,000 or more than 40,000 times uh, the pressure of a hailstone is the atmospheric pressure so almost uh, insignificant compared to the pressure uh, compared to the atmospheric pressure that concludes this problem